Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Spectrum Classes. Today in this video, we are going to discuss the color of methyl orange in acidic and basic solution. Methyl orange is used as an internal indicator in acid-base titrations. The chemical formula for the methyl orange is given here and its IUPAC name is sodium 4 4-dimethylaminophenyl diazonyl benzene sulfonate. It's a azo dye. This N double bond N is the azo group. Why we call it as internal indicator? Since we are having some external indicators which are not added to the working solution, it is added to the working solution. Therefore, we call it as internal indicator. So here is the methyl orange formula and this structure is present in the basic range. Since we are doing the acid-base titration, so this yellow color is just because of this chemical formula and this is present in the basic range or we can say more than 4.4 but here 4.4 is the acidic range since we are doing the acid based titration so we usually uh, work in the acid and basic range so in the basic medium we are having this yellow color now when we titrate our working solution against the acid solution of known concentration then we are adding the H plus ions to this working solution. So these H plus ions which are added to the working solutions go and react at this nitrogen which is having lone pair of electrons. So in this way we are having this type of structure in the acidic medium and this structure by the formation of this new NH bond the structure of the rest of the compound is changed because of the resonance and this chemical formula of methyl orange in the acidic medium gives us this orange yellow color in the acidic pH range or the pH which is less than 3.2. So the transformation of color from yellow to this orange red suggests the methyl orange end point and the working pH range of methyl orange is 3.2 to 4.4. In this video, I am going to show one of the experiment that is determination of bicarbonate alkalinity using methyl orange as an indicator in a given water sample. Now, these are the apparatus which we are going to use during the titration. This is funnel and measuring cylinder, methyl orange solution, this will be used as indicator. This is dilute H2SO4 solution with concentration N by 50. This is our sample water which is alkaline in nature. And conical flask for the titration. This is our burette and it is holded in the burette stand. These will be washed with the tap water, then distilled water and after washing with distilled water, these will be washed with test solutions to rinse them. First, we will rinse this burette with N by 50 H2SO4 solution. So the solution which we filled for rinsing, we just eject that from this burette. Now, we will fill this burette again with the N by 50 H2SO4 solution up to the mark. Here we will read the lower meniscus. Now we will measure the water sample by using measuring cylinder. Now again we will read the lower meniscus. The quantity of this water is 25 ml and we will transfer it in the conical flask. To this solution we will add one drop of methyl orange as an indicator. Here you can see the color. This is yellow in color in the basic range. Now we will start titration. 
while titrating we need to stir our conical flask continuously to get the homogeneous solution while doing the experiment here this is the continuous stirring of this conical flask or the test sample here the color is changed which suggests the end point and we stop titrating it so this is the color in the acidic medium so the end point is at 28 20.8 